I want to welcome all of you to this annual event. There are 140 guests here from 36 countries, seven automakers, energy companies, technology companies, including 130 Israeli startup companies. We have here uh, government ministers and officials from Israel and from around the world, researchers and scientists. I want to welcome uh, the chairman of Kerna Yesod, Moody Zandberg, <laughs> Professor Eugene Kandel, the Minister of Science, Yaakov Perry, the Director of Alternative Fuels Administration, Eyal Rosner. I want to recognize and thank the benefactors of tonight's prize, Eric and Sheila Sampson, you're doing extraordinary, extraordinary work. And I want to also welcome the chairman of the prize committee, Professor Yitzhak Apeloid. This event has become uh, the Nobel Prize for Alternative Fuels. And it's akin to the Nobel Prize for Peace because the work that is being done here is meant to produce a cleaner, better, and safer world. It will also have cheaper energy, more efficient energy. And that's something that has geopolitical consequences, environmental consequences, and economic consequences. Now, since we've started this program, there's been a palpable change. I uh, asked Professor Kandel, how many startup companies did we have, how many companies did we have in Israel dealing with in this field two and a half years ago? The number was 45. Today, with the startups and the established companies, that number is 200. It's grown fourfold, fourfold in two and a half years. And I think that tells you, I think, everything. What we need, of course, is uh, the collaboration between government, industry, and academia. I stress the importance of this collaboration, and there is the flow of people uh, from one sector to the other. But I think this is so valuable and so important. And it mirrors uh, the changes that are taking place in the world. We established last year here the JAFA, the Joint Alcohol Fuel Alliance. Uh, it includes China, Brazil, Israel, Australia, US participants and its advanced efforts to develop alcohol-based alternative fuels. And we've seen a lot of uh, progress in related areas. We've seen natural gas in US from shale. We've seen methanol in China, hydrogen in Japan, expanded use of electric and hybrid vehicles. And in this regard, I, uh, I want to congratulate the uh, two Samson Prize winners, Professor Michael Gratzel of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. And Professor Thomas Meyer of the University of South Carolina. They have done, uh, you have done groundbreaking research in the development of effective and inexpensive solar sail based methods in order to convert solar energy into electricity, allowing solar energy to be harnessed for transportation. I think this is one of the great challenges that face us. Now, I know that people don't really believe that our dependence on oil for transportation is surmountable. I beg to disagree. I'm convinced it is. It requires a continuous effort, continuous, it shouldn't be subjected to the volatility in oil prices. It has to have a determined long-term effort that the kind of things that we are doing here in this forum and that you are doing in your respective organizations requires. But it also requires feats of brilliance. It requires the leap of imagination and technology and, and science. Not everything moves incrementally, sometimes it moves in rapid jumps, rapid climbs, what we call a step function. And I think all of you are contributing to climbing those steps, and I think it can be done. I often give the example of the world's dependence on salt. They had salt wars in the 19th century. Salt was the preservative for food. It was the uh, indispensable commodity. 
The world depended on it. And one day, somebody invented refrigeration, and that dependence was gone, gone forever. I think the same can be done with our dependence on oil and transportation. It will give people a choice. It will give consumers freedom. It will give us cleaner air. It will give us a safer world. I want to congratulate our two honorees for giving us a better future. Thank you and congratulations. Mazalto, thank you.